Hey, how's it going guys? Zach Cox here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at some potentially new items and weapons coming to GTA Online with the release of the Ill-Gotten Gains Part 2 update this summer. And I would estimate that we're probably going to get this in late July, maybe early August, but within the GTA 5 game files and through a program called OpenIV, some very, very interesting things have actually been found relating to brass knuckles and a brand new pistol coming to GTA 5. So, starting off, if we actually use OpenIV and take a look at the game files, and this can actually be found within the DLC category and the Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1 update, there's a little notepad file, and if we open that up, there's different things relating to this brand new update we got for GTA 5, relating to the Combat PDW, the Pegasi Osiris, and different things like that. So we know that this is for the Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1 update, and when we actually open up this file, we're greeted with Knuckle Duster in all caps and Knuckle Duster Kills, the Combat PDW, the Felzer Classic, and I just want to address that that's not a brand new vehicle coming to the game. That's actually a brand new vehicle that just came to the game, and that's the Benefactor Sterling GT. So that was just the kind of sure name for it or the code name for it within the game files before the release of the game. And the first thing we see, of course, is Knuckle Duster, and that's very interesting. And take this with a grain of salt, but I believe that... Brass Knuckles, and that's what a Knuckle Duster is. Upon further research, it's just a classic term for Brass Knuckles, of course. And uh, I believe that they were removed from the final version of GTA 5. Like I said, though, not too sure on that exactly. But if so, and if Rockstar decided to add them in, it wouldn't be the first time they've done that. Look at the Dodo Seaplane. We know that that was supposed to come to GTA 5 from the beginning, but it wasn't up until this past year as well as just many other things like that, vehicles, etc. So, if Brass Knuckles were in the game, that would be awesome, because the GTA series, of course, has a history with Brass Knuckles. They appeared in every GTA, I believe, up until GTA 4 and then GTA 5, of course. So, if they were in game, that would make street fighting a whole lot more fun, especially just knocking a guy out in two or three punches with your freaking Brass Knuckles on. You're going to show him who's boss. As well as, there is also in this file... A marksman pistol and upon further research looking up the marksman pistol the only thing I could find is just different images of pistols in game relating to the marksman weapon company or weapons manufacturer I believe it is so that's very interesting the only thing I could think of and just hope for fingers crossed if Rockstar were to add in a marksman pistol air quotations around that is to add in a revolver and I'm not sure if that would be classified as a marksman pistol but the revolver is essentially the only category of pistols that we don't really have in GTA 5 it would be awesome especially in first person just imagine having a revolver a six shooter revolver just chrome skin platinum skin whatever it may be in first person mode reloading the weapon dropping all the bullets out and putting them in I think the animation for that would be amazing as well as overall it would just be cool to have a revolver in game and just shoot people with that so I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below if you could add in any sort of weapon into GTA 5, what would that be? I'd be very eager to read through all of your comments, but for now, that's just about it and all the information that we have regarding the Part 2 to the Ill-Gotten Gains update. All I can say is that if we thought Part 1 was expensive, I, I'm scared for Part 2 and what that may bring because... There's a lot of rumors out there that we may be getting some mansions with it, and that just scares me what the prices will be, especially after seeing a $10 million golden jet within GTA 5. So, only time will tell. We'll just have to wait and see. But for now, that's just about it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, of course, definitely be sure to leave a like rating down below, and also to subscribe for some more daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content on my channel. And with that said now the way, I believe that's just about it. You guys all take it easy. Have a safe one. And I will see you all in the next video.